we cater for young people who are perhaps not able to manage the main school setting. We embed in our curriculum lots of life skills, lots of independence and lots of experiences are really rich and full. Additional support needs don't end when young people are 18 and we have to equip our young people to be confident in themselves and be confident in their abilities. A big thing for us is to break down stigmas for people to you know, have an understanding of what we do, to see how amazing our young people are and see the potential and the contribution that they can make to society and their communities. So I used to be an ex-pupil, I left in 2018. I've come back to hopefully be a PSA and I know what they've been through and I know where like, you can see like children that are where I was, I um, went to a different school and I didn't get the support I needed. So I came here and then I got the support I needed. I feel like they just never gave up on me, like showed me that I could become what I am today. I mean, I go home at night and I'm just so proud of the achievements, the successes, the difficulties that the young people overcome. You know, it's just amazing and absolutely our job is so worthwhile and you know, the, you know we are, we're so lucky. We're all about respecting KHS, yourself, others and learning. All of the staff, all of the pupils, obviously everyone has uh, different backgrounds and comes from different places. As long as you're in the school then you're made to feel welcome. We've got a very big anti-bullying policy. I think everybody respects that and everyone follows it. Plenty of clubs for people to go to if they don't have a lot of friends. There's plenty of clubs for them to make new friends. Or you can generally just go up to the teachers and, hey, I'm struggling about this. Can we have an extra sit down and go over it? The teachers will never make you feel stupid about doing that. We've been awarded for the Gold Rights Respecting Schools Award. It's a great environment. It's a great community to be learning in. We're all very close as a year group and as a school in general. Inclusive, all about equality and overall, we're a family, we all look out for one another no matter what. It is a major leap from primary school to high school and the first day was nerve-wracking but looking back compared to now I've gained everything from here it's changed me as a person all for the better. Well done KHS! I would sum up St Joseph's Primary School as one big family. Um, we're a very close-knit community in Kelty. We've been working as part of the team in Fife on improvement methodology, and this has a massive impact on our attainment. So we were awarded the Scottish Quality Improvement Award for our learning during lockdown. One idea we came up with was to make a newspaper. We called it the St Joseph Times, and it was read widely across the community and further afield. We had emails from Canada. Hello, we are the Reading Rebels. We started a year ago to encourage reading. During STEM week, we read the gingerbread man to the P1s and the P2s, and we had turned it into a STEM project. This year, we're hoping to do more STEM a story. My children have been happy since the day they started, and I always felt happy, even before I worked here, that my children were safe and loved. We are awarded the Pupil Equity Fund from the Scottish Government, so I use this to fund a school counsellor three days a week. And because Diane's working with the families and the pupils, it's making a real impact both at home and in school.